What's up, guys? Good. Under the safety tandem of Hyde and Poyer, um, you know, one of the, the top tandems in the league, what do you see from them when you? Yeah, I mean, they've both been around for a long time, played in this league a long time, and they've played together now for you know a good amount of years. So um, they have great continuity, um, chemistry. They do a good job of disguising things. Um, you know, making it hard on offense, making it hard on us at, you know, at our position too. So, um, you know, we're going to have to be ready to go on all levels because um, they just do a lot of different things that, you know, present a lot of um, tough matchups. Bill was talking this morning about, I think, something you're kind of touching upon where pre snap they kind of look very similar, and then you don't know what's going to happen until post jump. How does that affect what you need to do on a down to down basis and how does it make it harder? Yeah, I mean, they just disguise things uh, coverage-wise really well. And, uh, I mean, they're very experienced, like I said. So they just know how to um, kind of mess with us offensively um, to make it think it's one thing and it's actually another. Um, disguise blitzes, um, all different kind of things that make it hard on us to, to read it out pre-snap. Um, and then you kind of have to make decisions sometimes post-snap on those things because um, those guys are holding it for a long time until, you know, right when the ball snaps. So, um, they do a good job of it and definitely going to be a tough task for us um, come Monday night. Does it make it harder? The way you guys have been running the ball, Hunter, does it make it harder for teams to do that, though? Like, do they have to declare early to try to stop the run when they have vers- you know, even if they do have versatile safeties like that? Uh, we'll see. I mean, obviously, I think the game will declare itself in a way um, early on in the game and we'll start to get kind of get in a rhythm um, with that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, they're. Definitely going to, I mean, they're a successful defense and they've gone against some teams that are, you know, run the ball really well, especially like Tennessee. Um, And, you know, they've, I don't, you know, they're a top 10 defense in the NFL. So I don't know if they're going to get away too much from their stuff, Um, but we're going to have to be ready for it all. I did. Did you spend any time with Dawson Knox and did you look at him? study other tight ends around the league? I did uh, spend a little time with him. He's from Nashville, so he was like right there. Uh, that was in his backwoods, uh, you know, the neck of his woods. Um, but yeah, I spent a little time with him. Uh, great dude. You know, it's it's awesome to see his success this year. Um, you know, he's a great, tremendous player. So, Talk about the running game for you guys with Damian and Ramondre sort of tandem. How do you see as a teammate them complimenting each other and helping your guys run the game? I mean, they're tremendous. Uh, you know, Madre has come on, especially this past month or so, you know, past few games. Um, Damien's been very consistent, but they just balance each other really well. I mean, they're both big. They both have great vision, cuts, I mean, speed. Um, they have everything that you would want. Um, you know, they're catching the ball out of the backfield, too. So it's just it's fun to be able to block for guys like that because they kind of make your job a little bit easier. You get pumped to play games at home, obviously. You know, you get pumped to play, to play games at home. is fantastic when you're home fans. Do you get pumped a little bit also to play games in an environment where it's kind of hostile and you're on the road and everybody's kind of booing you? Does that give you the same charge? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, there's a, there'll be a lot of buildup for this game. Um, and then, you know, anytime, you know, we've played some, we've played a lot of road games. We've done well on the road, but this will be a true test of, uh, you know, a road test, um, you know, going into a division opponent. Um, especially in Buffalo, you know, on Monday Night Football, the only game that, that's on. I mean, it'll, it'll be a tough task, and, I, you know, we'll definitely be up and ready to go. With Damian and Ramondre, they're both pretty physical runners. Does it give the offense an extra little spark when you see them kind of run over somebody downfield? Or make a oh, yeah, like oh, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, we're all trying to be physical, but when they're finishing runs like that, I mean, it just makes you want to block a little bit extra, do a little bit extra. Um, because you know that like those guys are finishing hard, um, they're you know they're going to make plays. So if you just hold your block maybe a little longer, you know a big play can come. Hunter, how big is a game like this, especially given the standings in the division right now? Oh, I mean it's huge. Uh, I mean it, you know it is what it is with all the standings. I mean it's it's a division opponent on the road, Monday Night Football. Um, you know we're both neck and neck um, right there in the standings. So I mean it's definitely a defining game um, for both teams and. Um, you know, we just have to be locked in and ready to go come Monday night. Hunter, with this week being my cause, my cleats, what inspired you to pick the International Justice Commission? Um, it's, a, it's a cause that um, kind of touched my heart when I was in high school. And me and my wife have supported it for a long time. I mean, they do great work all over the world um, to just stop human trafficking all over the world. So it's, uh, it's a really cool cause that I've gotten involved with uh, and me and my wife are very passionate about. She's doing good. She's doing good. Yeah, it's kind of getting uh, crunch time, so uh, baby 
come uh, any time. I mean, the due date's the end of this month, but kind of in that window now. Yeah, you're in the red zone. Yeah, we're, we're, we're right there. Yeah, it's, it's coming soon, so we'll see. Did you guys, has there been any discussions about if the baby were to come on, say, a game day? I mean, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, that's a tough, that tough conversation. But you know, this is my first man, and uh, if if it had to be, you know, a game or seeing my my firstborn uh, born, I mean, I'm I'm gonna go see my child be born. So, um, I'm you know, I'm doing my best, and we're gonna do our best to not do, you know, have that come across. But uh, you know, hopefully, it, the, the biggest issue is when the game starts, and then if she goes into labor during the game, um, that's where the issue kind of lies. So we're, uh, but. We're, all, we're ready and we have a lot of kind of backup plans to be ready to go. Seems like these conversations, you're not, you're not sure about it, but it comes here or there and it's always just a lot of balls in the air. Yeah, uh, you know, we have a, a lot of family coming up kind of this time of year, especially with the holidays, so it's kind of nice. Um, so we're, you know, having family around for her to, sh to support, especially with, you know, these next two games being on the road. Um, you know, we'll have family close by to make sure that she's, a, she, she's good. We're all hopeful for the bye week. Yeah, bye week would be that's our that's our like perfect you know perfect day, but you know how it goes. It probably it probably it won't work out that perfect. Hey, Hunter, I just want to ask you one question. Last question. We ask about Mac, you know, just about every week. Um, but I want to ask you: is, is there anything about his game that maybe we don't see that that you see that that's helped him have some success here in his first year? Something nuance or subtlety that his game that that you've noticed. Um, I don't think he's ever satisfied um, with how he is. I think that's one big thing. Like he continues to, I mean, he's playing really, really well, and um, you know, he's he's continuing to go out there and play really well. But he's not satisfied with that. Like he continues to take a step each week. You know, turn the page each week. Um, especially as a young guy, I think, especially with the long season, it can be hard um, to see that. But he does a great job of turning the page, and you know, attacking each week, and you know, expecting more out of himself, even after you know a good game. All right, guys.